Tower has recently announced Rubrik Managed Volumes support. It means that you can use Rubrik as the backup destination in the File System section. This also means that if you are a Rubrik customer, you can easily extend its capabilities with Storeware to support other workloads such as KVM environments. In this video, I'm going to briefly show you how to configure Rubrik Managed Volumes as the backup destination in Storeware. Let's start with logging into the admin console. Rubrik Managed Volumes can be configured in the Backup Destinations tab in the File System section. So here, notice that I have another option, Rubrik Managed Volumes, which appears um, on the list. Um, for Managed Volumes, you need to provide the pre-post access configuration uh, details. So there is integration module, there is a, um, a script that comes before the actual access to the storage takes place and after it is um, after the data is stored and you, we just need to unmount it. So you may um, want to specify the multiple configuration files so that you will have multiple backup destinations, multiple rubric um, environments to which you would like to store the data. And the basic idea is that you don't want to store permanently data on the store backup and recovery you would like to detach this file system as soon as the data is written. Rubrik Managed Volumes also offers snapshot capability. It means that once the data is written, we can sort of end snapshot, uh, close it for, uh, so to make it read only again. And even the when the ransomware attacks and you actually are writing to your managed volume at this point in time, uh, ransomware will not affect your data because you will have a history of snapshots to which you can always revert snapshot back. Um, backup destination also requires you to specify the path. So my RB rubric here um, points to vProtect data backup. So this folder basically is the mount point for your managed volumes and managed volumes, volumes are going to be mounted over the NFS. This is non-synthetic backup provider, remember about that, so we will have to merge the chains once the data is mm, restored back on the staging space. Nevertheless, uh, the basic idea is exactly the same as for the other um, file system, uh, for a regular file system that we offer in the store world. Let's start with the backup. I have one um, environment already assigned to my RB managed volumes policy and let's initiate backup process. It can be incremental. This results in another workflow execution appearing in the task console. Um, data is going to be exported to the staging space and later Mount, uh, copy the data is going to be copied to the mounted, dynamically mounted NFS uh, share. This NFS share obviously of, um, corresponds to the individual managed volume in the rubric. In the meantime, let's log into the rubric console. Notice that I already have, I'm in the Managed Volumes section. Remember that this is in the Servers Apps Managed Volumes section and in the Managed Volumes you will see your dynamically created Managed Volumes. One thing to note is that Managed Volumes require provisioning size. So you need to provision some space in your um, rubric and uh, we dynamically resize these managed volumes to, um, to be able to write data to your um, managed uh, volume. So now it is read-only again. Uh, let's check what is happening in the, in, the, in the meantime. So now we see that the store phase is actually being done. It's writable. So this is the moment when the data is actually being written to the, uh, to the rubric managed volume. And once the data is uh, written, 
snapshot is being completed. Notice that I have total snapshots, uh, eight of them right now. And notice that SLA domain, which is configured here for the snapshots, is RBSLA. So this is one of the things that we need also to configure on the rubric sites. So SLA, volumes are going to be dynamically created, so no, um, this part that you don't need to configure. And then later, once you have the API access, you need to uh, specify that in the configuration file. So let's see how it looks. In the opt-v-protect script uh, directory rb, uh, you will see the uh, several files. So this is the integration module for, for the rubric. Now, in order for this to work, uh, you need to use this config file, like I have, my, I have copied that and I have filled with some data, like the example config, and later refer to it in your backup destination. So the basic config file requires you to specify the API endpoint, so this is the 1040080, is my rubric host, then the credentials to the rubric, then the NFS host pattern, this is the variable that actually, where you need to put the node IP or host name, uh, so that the NFS shares are going to be exposed only to your node, and then you have the SLA name that we are going to search for on the rubric site. So simple as that. You can have multiple of these files and you can have multiple backup destinations. So here in the backup destination section, you can have multiple rubric connections specifying different configuration files. Notice that um, the moment when we actually uh, create a backup, we have to dynamically mount this volume and at a single point in time you will have only one task that um, actually needs to access this volume. So you will not have multiple nodes uh, connecting to the same volume at the same time. That's um, the general idea how the um, server is going to assign the tasks to the node. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And um, the volumes uh, will be detached just the moment once the data is um, is no longer, uh, you don't need to longer uh, to access this, this volume. Notice that I have uh, run the export store phase, what was the place where actually um, we have been written data, then was the clean, uh, clean up uh, job as well, so we also need to periodically mount these volumes to uh, clean up uh, unnecessary expired, uh, expired data from the, from the volume. And uh, remember also that for the rubric, uh, we have the option of this snapshots capability. So even if you have the um, uh, even if you have the ransomware attack in the middle, snapshots will still allow you to recover such data from the rubric site. So it's a actually the the security layer is in two places. One is that the volume. The data actually at rest is not permanently mounted on the on the node, and the second uh, place is uh, the snapshot capability f coming from the rubric. Now, from the rubric perspective, uh, rubric supports um, several virtualization uh, platforms, including VMware, Hyper-V, Nutanix. With the store backup and recovery, you have the option to extend that list even further. In the virtual environment section, infrastructure, notice that you can create a wide range of the, of the sources that, that includes OpenStack environments, that includes KVM standalone, overt based uh, OpenShift, and that also includes the Huawei uh, solution or the scale computing HC3. In the hypervisor section, you can also add other standalone hypervisors such as Proxmox, KVM standalone, such as the um, XCPNG or Citrix hypervisor as well. Store backup and recovery also supports um, uh, Office uh, 365. This, however, uh, is not uh, compatible with the rubric managed volumes. Remember about that. Um, we also have the storage um, storage um, providers capability, which allows you to, to protect uh, Nutanix volume groups, Nutanix files, 
uh, also Ceph RBD environments or plain file systems, which means virtually that if you have the a uh, slightly more custom environment where you would like to protect, let's say, S3 uh, buckets over the S3FS, uh, you have also the generic file system storage provider available as well. Now, one more thing to note is that I have shown you previously the folder, uh, vProtect Backup, so this is the folder that that we expect not to have data. This is the backup destination path, but still notice that there is no actual data being stored here at rest. And that concludes this demo. Thank you for watching. I really encourage you to test it out in, within your rubric environment. Um, especially connected to the other sources such as the OpenStack or KVM or Citrix or whatever you have uh, to extend rubric capabilities with regard to multiple sources that, uh, that uh, store backup and recovery offers and uh, using this mechanism you will have actually two strong platforms um, and covering basically any source that you have within your infrastructure and uh, pr to protect your data at rest, backup data, mm, mm, before the, be, mm, the ransomware attacks. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the other videos.